I don't have time to take you on that part. I would have shown you the other matters that I raised. Things like the commandments of God. And you will discover that because God is running a kingdom, God will restrain you with commandments. Not with suggestions. With commandments. In fact, if God doesn't give you commandments about the use of your finances, He doesn't give you commandments about how to relate with people. He doesn't give you commandments about how to regulate your life. It means He has not chosen you. Because everyone that God chooses, God will give them commandments on how to regulate their affairs. That means he has taken his place as the presiding principal over your life. It is in that context that we can understand commandments. And it will trust you to know that besides the Ten Commandments, which is the one you know popularly, he still gave other commandments that are applicable to us. Oh, you are not with me. Okay. Um, okay, help me on the screen. Give me uh, Acts of the Apostles chapter 1. Let's begin from verse 1. Just keep your eyes on Hebrews. Well, we'll still go back there. Can you help me with Acts chapter 1 verse 1 on the screen, please, so that I can read? Well, as we wait for them, the Bible says, The former treatise have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and to teach until the day in which he was taken up after that he had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen so part of the proof that you are chosen is that he will give you what commandments we were not told the commandments he gave the apostles that he chose but the bible says that he gave them commandments now now when you begin to work with god and god now decides to choose you for a special assignment in his house he will begin to exercise some regulation over your life by giving you command if you don't have any commandment about how to use your anointing you don't have any commandment about how to use money god has not chosen you god this god he has not chosen you because the moment he chooses you he's going to begin to exercise his government over your life and he'll give you prescriptions and i can take you all through the new testament you are going to see prescriptions in fact when he came and said okay these are the prescriptions for people that desire to be deacons is in your bible these are the prescriptions for people that desire to be in the bishopric or eldership they are prescriptions because he will exercise his government by giving commandments this is how i want it done because i am the government of this system any man that is without com commandment that is without regulations from god we need to investigate we need to investigate his life because the more you advance with god he puts a yoke upon you have you heard jesus say come unto me all you that labor and a heavy laden and i will give you rest he said take my yoke upon me and do what and learn of me you will never know jesus until you allow the yoke of jesus to come on you when the yoke of jesus comes upon you then the possibility of learning about jesus is open to you when jesus can restrain you i hope you know what a yoke does when jesus has that handle with you to restrain your life then you will not learn of him if you don't have any regulation on your life excuse me he has not chosen you you are still in the pool of people seeking him you have not come to that point where he's, he 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 takes you out of the pool and makes you to stand out because of a unique destiny in him that he wants you to accomplish are you still with me don't say you represent him if you don't know his yoke don't say you speak for him if you don't know his commandments for the bible says he gave commandments unto his apostles that he had chosen 